wrapped up in the loop. It's early March, drizzling, it's cold, but you know what? It's opening day 2024 for Six Flags Over Georgia. A lot's probably going on in there that we're going to go and check out the uh, construction of the new Intamin come in, seeing uh, the, the most recent coaster is still running and they've been making a lot of changes to the park. So uh, let's head inside and check things out. Starting the video with what y'all came here probably to see, Georgia Surfer construction. And yeah, there's, there's really nothing. Nothing has changed in the two months. Let me insert a clip right now of uh, what it looked like on my last visit. The ride will fit in this entire area. I'm going to insert now also a clip the park sent us uh, animation of the ride. We'll put the full animation at the end of the video. But uh, take a look as you're watching this animation here. You kind of see when I come back to the actual construction video where it all fits in. And here's a look up from the train track area, right by Justice League. So based on the video, the station would be somewhere kind of like right here in the middle with it going all the way up this hill, though it seems like they've been kind of removing some of the hills. So I wouldn't be surprised to see how they'll kind of disappear. The back spike would probably be where you see that excavator there the forward spike, whatever you'd want to call it, the station here in the middle, and it would come all the way down to the bridge that we'll walk to in a moment. There is a line of pink flags. Look carefully. Maybe that's the ride path? But that also looks like where the flume used to be, so maybe there's some underground piping there. But this bridge here that connects to the back part of the park. It's still shown in the video, so you'd have to think the back spike would go somewhere right in here. But construction still got a lot of ways to go. Those are, I don't even see markers where like the giant footers would go. So it's early March, maybe midsummer, maybe, hopefully before uh, you miss the summer season. After closing late last fall, Kid Flash appears to have fully reopened both sides. Certainly not as exciting as the new coaster construction, but there's a lot of work still going on at the front entrance. No noticeable change uh, in the last two months that we can see over the fence. No word yet what's going on here. So uh, maybe someday soon we'll see something rise above the fence here. A really nice looking new funnel cake, big sign, right? Uh, building is close to opening, but not open yet near the front of the park. The park continues to impress with Monster Mansion. It feels like there's always updates being made to lighting or costumes. It's looking better than ever. And then late last year, first time I'm seeing them, they introduced these walk around characters from the ride. Really cool. Also introduced a Monster Mansion burger with fried pickles on it, cheese. Yeah, it wasn't good. I appreciate them trying to add Monster Mansion stuff, but add merch, that's what we want. This burger was just awful. One of the worst theme park burgers I ever had and they still have the surcharge this year. Also, quick update for those who are wondering, here's the current beer lineup, very important, I know. Some new ones added this year. Park has these public safety booths all over the place now. 
several of the large rides are uh, closed today. And normally you'd say, okay, maybe that's because now they have such a long season, but Blue Hawk, for example, doesn't operate for holiday in the park. So this ride's they've had since October, November-ish to uh, do maintenance on it. Same with a bunch of the rides back here. But Great Barracks and Scream Machine's open at least. If you look closely, you can see handrails at least have been replaced. So there's been a little bit of work done in the off season. The ride still just is not the same ever since it switched to its heavier Georgia Cyclone trains from its uh, original three bench PTC. I know that's super nerdy, but it does make a huge difference. A lot more wear on the track. Here's one of those original cars that I was talking about. A lot more wood. You can see this whole like side was wood. A lot of the interior was wood. Though it's got switched to metal over the years. So belief is this, this train is a lot lighter than the pretty much all metal train that runs on there now from Georgia Cyclone, which is why it's not as great of a ride anymore. Tell me if I'm wrong about that theory. Here in the back of the park, this area is a little bit under construction, but the park tells us that this is going to be served at moonshine cocktails at some point later in the season. So uh, certainly have my interest here, something I'll be keeping an eye on. Park is not only getting an intimate roller coaster, it's getting a new tavern along the rails. It is not open today, but this looks, this looks nice. Right along the uh, train tracks, hence, hence the name. It's right behind the VIP lounge. Uh, looks, looks really nice. Looks like it's about right open probably in the next few weeks. Um, it's nice, kind of tucked back here, a little cozy area. So definitely uh, envisioning having a beer or two or three over the course of the season back here. In the press release for this year, the park did say that this uh, diner style quick service restaurant later this year will go through a complete remodel. So um, nothing to show yet. Uh, don't know when later in the season that'll start, but something we'll keep our eye on. The giant gift shop at the front of the park is undergoing a reservation. The park says that it'll open later this year and be one-stop shop for everything you need, Six Flags wise. My one thing would say it would not be a one-stop shop unless they have Monster Mansion merchandise. You got the burger, you got the walk around characters. Do it Six Flags, bring back the merch. First time I came to the park uh, back in, in 2008, 2009, they had a full line of merch. They even had the soundtrack on CD. Bring it back. Quick update outside the park, the Wingate by Wyndham, probably the nicest hotel within walking distance of the park, is now completely closed. Hopefully they're going to remodel it because like I said, it was the nicest. And that will wrap up our quick visit to opening day here at Six Flags over Georgia. Obviously not too much has happened because off season, off season here is less than two months, just under two months by a few days. So didn't expect too much progress, but I was kind of thinking the surf coaster might have at least some footers or some markings for footers. Uh, I don't think that's opening anytime soon, guys. Um, which means perfect segue for a shameless plug that we will be back many times throughout the season, show you that construction as it'll probably take a couple months to complete. So like, subscribe, and uh, keep checking back. We'll have more Six Flags or Georgia content probably every couple weeks. Thanks for watching.